Hello again, everybody. Todd Sturridge, the Horror Nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I have the pleasure of sitting here with one of the stars of one of the biggest movies of all time, Terminator 2, along with uh, Different Strokes, several other projects, Mr. Danny Cooksey. Danny, how are you? I'm doing man. How you doing? Good. I'm having a great time here at the convention. How's the show been for you so far? Fun, man. People, it's everybody's super nice, having a good time. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Does it ever surprise you that um, after you know some of these things have been around for so long, Terminator, uh, different strokes? Heck, I grew I grew up with that right. show. You know, that the fans still come to hang out and meet with you. You know, it's so, it's, you know, it's like, it's, it, I had, uh, there was like somebody's like little, like, it was like a little kid that came up wearing a, uh, a Camp on Awana shirt, which is like a show I did on Nickelodeon in the 90s, and she wasn't even, uh, she wasn't even alive then, but it's, it's fun. It's a great time, and, and everybody's super nice, and it's, it's, we're having a good time. Good. That's awesome. So, um, what was it like uh, being in Terminator 2? I was just sitting with um, Eddie Furlong over there, and you know, you're in some key scenes with him early in the in the movie. How was that uh, being in that movie? It was amazing to be such. A, it was such a. I mean, the the whole thing. The, the film was just so huge. Just the production, the, everything. I mean, they were launching trucks. You know. <laughs> Like so, it was it was uh, super blessed to be a part of a project like that, and to, even just to be if like I was there the day they launched the semi truck into the wash. So just to be a fly on the wall mm. during you know some of that stuff was uh, super lucky. <laughs> very very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> so um, obviously, different strokes. Uh, one of the biggest shows certainly of 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 my childhood growing up. What was it like being on that show? And did you, I mean, obviously you were young when you're on that yeah, show, yeah. but do you have any idea what that was going to turn into and even that even today it would still be important? Well, I, I was a fan of the show before I got on it, so it was kind of a surreal experience. But yeah, it's like you definitely get a sense of things that are just going to kind of be iconic to that um, at the time. It was, it was a great, everybody was, I mean, they had been together for many, many years before I got there, and everybody was super welcoming and just wonderful. It was a, it was like my, the first thing that I did, so it was a, it was a great experience all, all all the way around from it, the sort of the way it was. I mean, that's those were the days of like four camera sitcoms in front of a live audience. It was like doing a mini play once, you know, once a week. We did two tapings. We did one in the morning, one in the evening, from beginning to end, and and that was it. It was like on to the next show. So it was it was. It was cool to be a part of that sort of era of the way that things are done, you know? So uh, what is it like? I mean, I have no frame of reference. So being a child actor in those environments with the lights and, you know, all this big production, did it, did it ever just phase you or were you able to adapt to it as it just being a job? Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kids adapt to things, you know, they're remarkably flexible. This is true. Yeah, you know, so it was just, it just was what it was. And I was so young, it was like, I didn't really think too much about it, you know? So it was good. That's awesome. Um, so let's tell the fans, what are you working on these days? What are you up to? Any new projects coming up? I still do. I do a lot of voices for cartoons and stuff like that. Um, nothing that's like a regular at the moment. Uh, but yeah, just doing that. I don't really do on-camera stuff anymore. I teach uh, like acting classes and voiceover lessons and stuff like that. And got two kids and, you know, that keeps me busy. Tell me about it. Right? I, I got a 21 and an 8, so. Wow. <laughs> so that, yeah, it keeps me busy. So that's good. Um, just a quick question about the voiceover stuff. It's obviously such a different experience. What are the challenges of doing voiceover as opposed to on camera? You know, it's it's literally it's the funnest job ever. I mean, you know, I mean, your goal is to get in there and just you know have fun with it and be silly and and make people laugh and and that's it's a great environment. The people are great. Um, yeah, it's. I, I started doing it. Uh, I was probably like ten or eleven, and then just sort of kept after it, and really have worked with the same little core group of maybe forty, fifty people for everything, you know. Uh, so just been. I've been once again super blessed to have sort of found my way into that little grouping, and and I love it. 
I love it. Fantastic. Danny, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes of your time. I appreciate it. I wish you much success in everything that you do. Have a great time here at the rest of the convention. Uh, we will. Uh, Danny Cooksey, everybody, here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And we will see all of you in the next interview.